Hello and welcome to the Jim Baker Family Show. Coming to you from the village of Morningside, USA, nestled in the beautiful Ozark Mountains. Today, our special guests are board certified neurosurgeon and author of The God Prescription, Dr. Avery Jackson, with his wife, physician's assistant, Kara Marie Jackson, and product developer, entrepreneur, and former trauma nurse, Lisa Hill. Our co hosts today are Reverend Mondo De La Vega and Pastor Ricky Baker. And now, Live from Gray Street at Morningside, USA, here's your host, Pastor Jim Baker. Hello, everybody. It's good to see you today. And I hope you're having a good day. And I hope you have voted or will vote. Yes. We're running out of time, Ricky. We are. You know, when this uh, show airs, there's a few days left uh, before our election here in the United States uh, of America. you got to vote. You know, 64 countries across this globe picked new leadership in their in their countries. And I'm telling you right now, we're seeing right now if uh, countries are following God or if they're not following God. And that's just the harsh reality of it. Friends, get out, vote. I don't care if it's snowing, if it's raining, if it's a beautiful day and you still want to stay inside. Friends, get out and vote. Even if you have to early vote, even if you have to mail in ballot, do something and make sure that your American voice is heard in this election. Our special guest today is Dr. Avery Jackson Thank you. from Michigan, the great city of Detroit, yeah. suburb, I guess. Yes, sir. Sure. Yes, sir. What do you think about voting? Do you, do you, why? why do you think it's this election? It's, it's, it's a little strange. Yeah, it is. It is strange, Pastor. First of all, I, I think that it's an honor to and a privilege to be able to vote and have your heart heard and I don't understand why Christians or everyone isn't voting. I just found out this year that Christians don't vote very uh, well, how many do, how much do you they know, vote? You know, they said that there was 30 million plus Christians saying that they don't want to participate in this election. So that means they don't plan on voting in this election. I've heard numbers up of 35 million, uh, but 30 plus conservatively saying, hey, we're not going to participate. You better vote for someone who will keep this a Christian nation because mm -hmm. it's about gone. It is. And, you know, I'll tell you, Pastor, my concern is we look at the candidates based on a picture, a snapshot of what we're seeing, oh. and we're not looking at the platform or what their heart says or what they're saying about the Bible. And so supposedly we're Christian, but if we're Christian, are we Christian in name only? Are we practical atheists? Mm. Or are we really Christians in terms of how we vote and do anything else for that matter? Mm -hmm. And so if that's the case, by definition, based on what the Democratic Party is their platform and what they support that the Bible doesn't support, I don't understand, Pastor, how you can be a Christian and vote the Democratic ticket. It mm. doesn't make sense. So you're either saying it's okay to kill kids, it's okay to do all these things that aren't in the Bible, it's okay to say a man is a woman or a woman is a man or whatever, and you're going against the very word of God. So you've got to decide, are you a Christian or you're not? If you're a Christian, it must be a name only because you're not, you don't believe the word. Doctor, oh, I want to ask you something. Do, I, I, I'm probably a fanatic, but I believe that abortion is murder. I believe we aborted millions of children. And I know this, I, I'm one of these strange people that hear from God and, and you can hear from God. Mm-hmm. And he is very sad about the way we have killed our babies. You're, you're absolutely right. In the, uh, the black population, for instance, we've killed more than 6 million children with abortion. So that's, that's a city that's uh, bigger than Chicago, right? Of, and, you know, or the state of, you know, it, yeah, Chicago, for instance, well, are, they're Chicago gone. They don't exist. In and, New York, over 50% of the babies Black babies are murdered. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So in one hand, we want to say we want to vote for a democratic system that's supporting the murder of our children. And then the other hand, we're saying we're good parents. But I don't From what I've that. studied, the founder of Planned Parenthood. Margaret Sanger. Margaret Sanger. Yeah. 
her goal was to kill black people. Oh, yeah, right. She was a racist through right. and through. Because yeah. the parent yeah. Planned Parenthoods are all are mostly in, in the black cities and the black areas. They're not in other areas. That's right. Mm -hmm. But the problem is... No, you're black, I think. Yes, I am. Are you... Are and and, and uh, you look, First Nation you're Indian. You're a good-looking black man. Well, thank you. Appreciate mm -hmm. it. <laughs> <laughs> it's, I don't know what to say because I didn't even know if you're black for sure. Because yeah. You're also a Native American as well, right? Yes. That's right. My grandmother is from, uh, from Belize. And Ricky so is a Mexican. Also yeah. Native American as right, well. Yeah. Right cool. here. Hmm? Yes, cool. yes. Get, get a shot of me when I say... Ricky. There we go. <laughs> this is my son, Ricky Baker. Yeah. yeah. And he's going to take my place as soon as he can get rid of me. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, yeah. Well, we have about two decades before that happens, so <laughs> praise God. Amen. No, no, no. Ricky's... Ricky's praise God. we got two more decades Ricky's with him. Ricky's really running things for me in That's Mondo. an honor. Mondo is my... Buddy, Mundo's been with me 26 years. Is it? 26 years. That's right. Wow. wow. Very cool. Yeah. Long time. Pop he, he was in the Pop ghetto when I found him. <laughs> yeah. Fascinating story, and his book is amazing. That's right. yes, Did you read his really book? Good. Yep. And it's, it's, just, it's fa just fascinating what God can do in the heart of a young man. That's right. Can they still get your book, Mondo? They can. They can go to the website or give us you a call. Do you have a copy around here somewhere? It's sitting over There's there. There's one right behind you, Dr. Avery Jackson. That's right. <laughs> oh, there it is. Can we grab it? Yeah, can go, you can see go it grab back? it. Yeah. Can we grab it? Oh, here you we go. go. We make our guests work around here. <laughs> Don't send a doctor Here you go, here you go guys. <laughs> Absolutely. This is a cool book. you got to have this. Oh, thank you. Recommended. Right. I recommend this. Right, yeah, doctor recommended. Come on. Yeah. yeah. And, you know, and especially for... When we look at um, heart. the violence, <laughs> no. the heart, yeah. when we look at the violence that we're seeing, you know, because one of the prayers is for that I pray is, Can I, I'll yes, take sir, okay. is how does the with the elections, however they end, what's going to be the aftermath? Yeah, and you know, and the assumption some people assume there's going to be a certain level of violence that's going to occur, verbal and physical violence, right? Yes. And so I think this, this book highlights some really cool points that I think we can use and, mm -hmm. and learn from mm -hmm. in the middle of those types of challenges as well. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. It's really cool. Yes. So. Yeah. Mondo, do you talk about me in this book? I know you do because I read I that. do. Oh, yeah. Chapter 17. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, <laughs> just for fun, quickly, how did you meet me? I met you at the Dream Center. I was assigned by What's the Dream Center. The Dream Center is a facility that helps the inner city, and they house about 500 people. It's they a feed, big hospital. Big Former hospital. hospital. Queen, cool. of, Queen, Queen, of, Queen of Angels Hospital. And Pastor Tommy and Matthew Barnett took it over, and they've become a ministry for the inner city uh, community. They've but I met you there. They a lot, don't they? Yeah, yeah. I met you there. I was assigned to you by Pastor Tommy. And it was supposed to be a few hours, and it turned into 26 years. So that's, <laughs> yeah, that's great. <laughs> the long few and, hours. And you met me at the airport, and and I, just, I can't take time to, to tell you the whole story, but we, you showed me Los Angeles and introduced me to the Dream Center, and it was amazing. And I had somebody, you were showing me around and some, I don't know who it was even, came up and said, do you know who you're, who's, you're talking to? And I said, no, I don't, it's Mondo. And they said, well, he's a gangbanger. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's, I mean, I mean, a gangster. Yeah. That you were in the gang and everything. Yeah. And, and it didn't bother me. I, I yeah. He thought it. I'd get upset. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, Mondo was nice to me yeah. then, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> You're hey, terrible. Hey, what does he mean by you that? You hear him? That's the sarcastic from yeah. uh, Detroit. No, <laughs> Muskegon, <laughs> Michigan. No, now, he's, <laughs> now he's telling me to take his vitamins. Now these boys and... are my boss because yeah. I'm just an old man. <laughs> <laughs> So get up, Don't take believe your, one word. He take said, your cardio miracle. Right, get up. That's right. That's right. That's right. No, they they do all the work, and I I don't I. No, we I don't you. even boss them anymore. I don't think. No, you know what's so amazing is that when I met you, you you mentally you have been beat up by the press, by society. 
the church, everybody, and you didn't trust anybody. But I remember walking into a room that you were in, which was next to mine, and I walked in, and you have to read the book, but this is what happened. I walked into the room. Actually, I broke into his room, if you want to know the truth, and the room was dark, and it was very depressed, very something that no one should be living under. Mm. And I walked in and m made conversation with you, but I told him something that I'm doing today, never realizing it will come true. But I told him, I know I read your book, and in your book, you love construction, you love building, you love window shopping, and you love taking baths. And I <laughs> said, and, and, and I know it seems dumb, but at that time, I didn't realize what I was going to end up doing today. And I told him, you're in L.A. It's beautiful here. We got to go out. And I said, but I'm going to turn the bath water on. And when I come back, if you're not in the water, I'm going to pick you up. And if I'm going to treat you like if you were my father and I'm going to bathe you, not realizing that today I'm helping you not only take care of you, cut your hair, helping you in and out of the bath to make sure you don't slip and fall. But at that time, I saw you as a father, not realizing that later in my life you would right. become my father. Oh, that's beautiful. But I've never thought you would have to dress me and carry me around sometimes. And I, I want to dress myself. I want to be self-sufficient soon. But and you will be. There. And you will be. And that's. But th this is the the crux of I'm this vote. But it, so in this vote, we're talking about Kamala Harris and black and white and races and all this other stuff. Here you have two amazing uh, Latino men, and you're <laughs> Caucasian, right? That's right. And yet we got sons. We've got sons here and a dad and how you're caring for each other. So again, if society just took a snapshot of what was going on, you guys should theoretically be at each other's throats. It's yeah. not the case. So likewise- right. They take care of me so much. Well, right. so likewise in the They're same like, thing. One on one That's side, right. one on the other side. Yeah, so my point is, is that that is the lie of the enemy that they're trying yeah. to use and say, well, Trump is this old white guy. He's racist. He hates women, yes. which is none of that's true. And yet it's a snapshot. And yet here we have an example of a snapshot. And if people just look at the snapshot, they'll think all these things, but they're not true clearly. That's so right. likewise, it's a, it should be the same thing. You know, it's the, the messenger of the heart. And, you know, who is, you know, who responds and acts a certain way. When I was talking to, to Pastor Mondo, earlier talking about, you know, uh, the, fr the fruit of the spirit versus the gift of the spirit and how you know a person's heart based on their fruit. What are they saying out of the issues as you mentioned, the issues of their heart come out of their mouth. Yeah. And so you're voting and how you're speaking about the elections and our great nation and all of our sisters and brothers nationally across the country, right? Do you care about them or is this about me? And if it's about me, you go, well, here's this white guy and I don't like what he said because it affected me. Or here are these other people, and they look like me, as opposed to how can they help our entire country heal? Because we're all having problems. Mm -hmm. So are you selfish or you're not selfish? Are you uh, a Christian and you're for the Word of God and you vote the Bible, or are you not? Yeah. Yes. And I think this conversation is a classic example can, can, of that. Can I say something? I'm I'm not allowed to talk about Trump, am I? You can. You can talk about. It. Yeah, they're running sure. for. He's running for president. Of course, we can talk about him. He's the president. Oh. Well, he was a, was the president one time. Mm -hmm. That's right. Yep, former president. And uh, he called me on the phone. Did you know that? Yes, right after he won. Talked to about 20 minutes. <laughs> and he was so friendly and so kind. And he said, I want to thank you for helping me be elected. Well, I don't know. How, I, I, I promote him an awful lot. But Trump... I know this about Trump. I know he, you might call him a man of the world. I mean, he, he's a he's brash. worldly wise man. He's built huge skyscrapers. Mm -hmm. That's the kind of president I want. I want somebody who can build, somebody who can make things happen. And he understands how to make a deal, mm -hmm. yeah. how to negotiate with world leaders that's right mm -hmm. yeah and i know 
the preachers that hang out with him. That's right, they pray for him. I may be an old, I'm one of the oldest now. Oh, God, I never thought that would happen. That's I used true. to be the youngest. Well, here you are. <laughs> Time to here change. you are, exactly. <laughs> but yeah. a lot of the great preachers have gone to be with the Lord now. I'm the last of the founders of television that is alive. And, but Trump always had the great preachers around him that I know. And I, so, I, I mean, I know that I know. And he, he has them all the time. And they're praying over, they lay hands on him. Mm. Yeah, that's right. They anoint him with oil. I mean, they're, you know, we're crazy, us, us Pentecostals. We, we lay on the hands and pray and anoint with oil. Amen. And, and that's what they do. And he let them. He, in fact, he wants them to. Right. And if he was a McCrudgeny old guy, who was racist and he was against everybody, would he actually have people counsel him who are women? And he likes black people, by right. the way. I, right. I, I yeah. happen to know that. Yeah. You know, he regards you know ben, uh, Dr. Ben Carson as one of his better friends. I mean, Dr. Ben Carson is an I amazing hope man ben of God. I Carson yeah. gets yes. into the... Do you know Ben at all? Well, actually, so he's a neurosurgeon. He came from Detroit, like me. Oh. His mother played the piano at my parents' wedding. You're oh my kidding. goodness. And I didn't know that until years <laughs> later. And in my training, in my neurosurgery training, I got a chance to meet him a couple of times and talk to him about how, how I was doing. But and just ask him some questions. I so like it's been that. fascinating. What yeah. Do you think we could get him on the show? Yes. Yeah. We have cool. a great connection like with Dr. Ben Carson. Yeah, I'd like to talk to him too. Hey, let me know when he's on the show. <laughs> yes. no, we, yeah, we'd love to do that. <laughs> You'll be right but, there. We need strong leaders back in America I hope, again. I hope he puts Ben in the cabinet. In his cabinet or in some Yeah, some type of advisory there. role. Yeah. Yeah. But I he's appointing he uh the the great car man, rocket man. Oh <laughs> Elon Musk. Elon, Elon Musk. Yes. To weed all the waste out of government. Yeah. Yes. That's What's right. nice about it is he's putting people in who have actually done, done things, something. Yeah. That's right. Who have actually accomplished something, who have actually gone forth and built something and made, you know, Elon Musk is truly, whether you like him or don't like him or you. I you like know, him. He is, uh, he's I actually, like a, he's the American dream. Things. Yeah. I mean, he came here as an immigrant um, and, you know, he built now an empire that has made him, you know, back and forth the richest man in the world to the second richest man, back to the, the richest man in the world again. But he's built it, you know, essentially from the ground up. So do you, do you know what? I like people. I I I don't I don't I don't like demon possessed people, but there's just a lot of. Yeah. Well you're either demon possessed or you're Holy Spirit possessed. That's yes. right. No, yeah, that's right. I mean you either have the Holy Spirit, Spirit in you or you yes. don't. That's you right. know what I'm talking about? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, I get it. Yeah. I get it, yes. for sure. Or oppressed, mm. you yes. know, and there's full of anxiety and worry. I mean, the yeah. devil is raging mm. yeah. in this country. Yeah. He knows his time is short. That's we're right. not going to so have short. a country soon if we if we elect the wrong president. Yeah. This is the probably, probably the last election yeah. we'll but have. But I think what you guys started out with, let me give you a headline to back up the numbers that you guys were speaking about, Christians not getting involved. This is according to the Cultural Research Center in Arizona, um, Christian University study found, listen to these numbers, found that approximately 104 million people under the People of Faith umbrella are not expected to vote this election, including 41 million Christians mm. and 32 million of whom regularly go to church. Mm. Oh. You know, we, we, can I say this? If you're a Christian, vote. Yes. Yeah, man. That's right. You have no right to complain yeah. when all hell breaks loose That's in right. this country. That's right. And we're so close to World War Three. We need to get a president that will stop World War Three. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we, we've seen what peace and love has done for us over the last four years. And yes, we need peace and love, but we don't need it at the top of our you know, American government. We need a strong leader who will you, tell you, the you enemies are, of the United States of America to stay upset. in your caves and stay back in your homes. Don't attack America or its allies. That's right. I'll talk to you because my son's... <laughs>
He knows I get he passionate about I'm this. Seeing, uh, I get excited about, about this. <laughs> <laughs> we've, we've, uh, we don't want war. Do you know what Iran is? Yes, sir. Trump thinks um, that the people of Israel should bomb their nuclear plant. The Democrats don't want it. They have made Iran prosperous. Mm. Well, this administration for that money. animal is going to bite us. That's right. Yeah, you can't you can't speak to, you can't no. reason with the devil. Because they plan to bomb Israel, and if they when they bomb after they wipe out Israel, they want to wipe out the United States. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. You know, if if I could just say that. Uh, in terms of presidencies and in terms of Christians, right, there are five elements of faith. So pastor, my Bishop Keith Butler, my pastor, the, the five elements are you hear the word of God, you receive it, you believe it, you speak it, and the hardest one for most of us is you act on it. And that goes to pastor, what Pastor Mondo said in terms of the fruit. And so if you are truly a Christian, you're going to vote because you are the one that God is using to get his word into the earth and also into like the prophets of old and into our, our, our great nation, which is founded on uh, uh, Christian principles and mm -hmm. founded on the word of God. Mm. You know, it's, it's fascinating. Um, John Adams Quincy is the sixth president, amazing guy. You know, as a teenager, he was actually an ambassador to Russia and spoke six languages. Ah. Mm. He goes, he becomes a president He's fighting against racism and, 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 and slavery. He becomes a congressman after he's a president and continues to fight against slavery. So this is a, a real American hero. Um, and the point is, now you have someone who's very unique, uh, Donald Trump. And from my understanding, there have only been two presidents, uh, Donald Trump being one and Ronald Reagan another, that really weren't politicians who actually uh, had a different view of society and a different view of how they could be leaders and didn't have the kind of the political kind of animal or oppression or chasing politics. So for me, it makes sense if you have someone who's successful at business run this uh, United States as a corporation, as a business with all its organizations and parts, to me, that totally makes sense, you know? Mm -hmm. And and also from the the brain side, there is a bias that we have in our in our brains. And so we see things that we're familiar with and say that must be good. But as Christians, we know that we have to go beyond our flesh and what we see. We have to go with what the Holy Spirit is leading Amen. us and telling us. Right. Like, for instance, we don't know what color we are as uh, as spirit beings. And we we're, we are a spirit. First lesson 523. We are a spirit. We have mind, will, and emotion. We live in a physical body, but yet we want to talk about or allow the enemy to divide us because of the color of our skin or whether we're men and women versus who we are in Christ. Mm -hmm. And again, if we're Christian, we should be following the Holy Spirit's lead in how we do things, mm -hmm. how we vote, how we love each other, mm -hmm. right? And so to me, this is so important. And then in terms of even health, we talk about brain health. During all this time, there's all this stress, right? And going back to Cardio oh. Miracle, there was a PTSD study um, that looked at veterans who had emotional and physical trauma. And it turns out that their inside lining of their blood vessels were damaged. And Cardio Miracle comes in and supports arginine and nitric oxide that helps to repair the lining of the blood vessels, which starts way back at stress and everything that we're going through, right? So basically the ideal solution is the word of God for our emotional health, I mean, our spiritual health, and that we act on the word and not just speak only. And then we have something like this wonderful food substance, Cardio Miracle, that will help to fix our brains and our hearts during this stress as we're fighting the good fight of faith in our physical bodies. I think it's a, it's a good combination, a one-two punch. Amen. Amen. You're a board certified Neurosurgeon, yes, right? Yes, sir. And your book, The God Prescription, they can get that online, I imagine? Yes, they can go to uh, www.thegodprescription.com. Uh, and we have a second version coming out 
mm. where we talk about uh, cardio miracle and some other parts in terms of the physical body, and we talk about the body health care, which is a national uh, private organization that's a parallel healthcare system so that we can actually take care of people in spirit, soul, and body. And so that's all in there. Amen. And so a couple more books coming out in the in the very near future, the next year. And this is your wife, mm -hmm. Care Marie. Hello. Care Marie. Yes. Is you you you're the only person with that name in America, aren't you? Um, <laughs> as a matter of fact, that's possible. Yes. Yeah. I think. <laughs> yeah, you might be right. That's awesome. <laughs> it's a beautiful name. Well, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. My but mom. how did they come up with that? Just for fun. Well, uh, my mom really liked the, the name Kara, and, but she wanted Mary and Christ in my name. <laughs> oh, my. So she named me Kara Marie Christine. Uh, oh, so my. So she got it all in there. And then what does Kara mean, though? <laughs> Friend. That's right. Oh. Friend. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And, I and call her, you I call are her buddy. buddy. I call her yeah. my buddy. <laughs> you are a physician's assistant, I think yes. you call it. Mm -hmm. But but you have to have training to do that. You're not just yes. helping out. And yeah, help. yeah. It's a um, it's a, a two a two year program past your your bachelor's uh, degree, and then you know uh, getting certified, and you have to keep up your certification. Yeah. Do you guys get along okay? Oh, you... she's my friend. That's great. So. But I mean, I'd you work so. together. Work together yeah. at work and home. Yeah. Just it's it's cool. I yeah. mean, I my prayer is is that every marriage relationship could be like what we have because we're really friends i mean we really like to hang out with each other did you ever did she ever tell you what to do you're doing something wrong oh yeah <laughs> <laughs> that's a real friend yeah it's a no real that's friend. a wife it's a real isn't it? yeah it's yeah. and the word says he who finds a <laughs> wife not a woman that's right a wife finds a good thing that's right so i found a good thing and that, and that's really rare unfortunately that's right. Really rare that someone would love you that much. That they're your friend. They'll tell you when you're wrong, but the strife is low because there's peace in the home. I mean, it's just, it's amazing. I'm, it's good. <laughs> Before we get off this thing, we, we were talking about voting, but yeah. we're so, a little ways away from it. But I voted already. That's right. You already right. voted. All right. I voted. We have pictures. Can we throw um, those pictures up? I voted probably a month ago. Tell us, when was the last time you voted before this election? Oh, my. 35 years ago. 35 I, I, years ago. I, but before I went to prison. Yeah, That's right. I made the math the other day. 35 years ago, you stepped into a voting, voting booth oh, really? to vote. Oh, they're putting the pictures on. Yeah, there you are ah. voting. How cool. Don't don't pull the one with the ballot up, please. <laughs> <laughs> That's there it is. The ballot. Just, we're gonna zoom in on it. <laughs> right. There she you are. That's right. Thirty-five years later, you you cast your vote. That's right. You you just got your ability yeah. to vote back, and of course, it's such at a perfect oh, time because that vote the is Lord. important. Amen. I was so excited. Yeah. Oh yeah. Do, do you know we, the county seat? I think you call it. Mm -hmm. You call it county seat. Is about a mile away or about an hour away. Yes. And it's out in the country. There's a city called Galena. Or Galena, Galena, that's right. And it, it's it's an old-fashioned little town, with the town square. You know this. this oh yeah. That's square. right. Square. I mean, it's it has a, really a square. Yep. And there's a big old courthouse, but they got a new one too. But the the old one I like. The old one is just beautifully done. You know how they used to build them. Oh, yeah. Them. And it, it's there. There. That's where you vote. That's where. That's right. So that was the first time, I, I it, but I felt I had been there before because it looks like the typical America's old-fashioned town. Mm. Yeah, that's right. And I, I preach in so many of those places when I was young. <laughs> you know, it's interesting, Pastor, in, in terms of the voting. Um, um, you know, there's, I, I voted obviously in primaries and I'm going to vote again. And my sister was a poll watcher in Detroit. And so she was certain rules that she had to go through. And, and um, you know, it's fascinating. One of her questions was, well, we have to have a license to identify who we are, but you'll allow others who don't have a license or identification to vote. And their response was, yes, mm. you could just sign your name and, and vote. It's like, well, but then how do we know who's who that's right. Mm -hmm. Right. And then in talking to David Barton and his son, um, they found that in some of the vote that many of the people who voted were actually dead. 
Mm-hmm. Oh my! We, we've had a significant amount of deceased. Right? They weren't even deceased voting. people. Mm-hmm. So again, do you I mean, know David Martin? He's a great. He come. Do you know? Talk about black mm-hmm. white. David Barton, my church is 95% African American. We have some Asians, we have some Caucasians. David Barton comes, Bishop Butler invites him because he is one of the foremost authorities on American history in general. Yeah, but he also is. Also on, on African American history. Yeah. So David Barton will teach us about our own heritage in amazing detail. I wow. love it. The guy is brilliant. Wow. Just he was a dear friend of Ben's. Amen. We, we did a was lot it? of shows together. Amazing. amazing He's incredible. Guy. The wall builders. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Amazing. Wow. Yeah. Did I show all the pictures, Dave? Uh, That's right. Yeah, all the pictures of you voting, they popped up on the screen. It was a, an amazing moment, and I'm glad you could go and cast your vote. And I'm glad you went out and voted. You did your American justice right there, and your I, due diligence. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I, I didn't bring my stickers. But I should have brought them up because I put, it, put them on a little, little glass just That's to right. save them. Good. It says, I voted, yeah. <laughs> and I was going to bring it to show you. but uh, So we, should, we could put a black robe on you, right, like the black robe regiment. <laughs> yes, That's right. Exactly. Right? Back in the day, you had past, you know, these yeah. pastors and ministers who uh, defended the country. And, right. you know, and now I, I don't know why this isn't, you know, why we don't have any historical reference mm. to decisions that we're making, historical being the word, the Bible, yes. But even in past times in our own history, yeah. mm-hmm. that we should be we should be voting. And People are yeah. afraid, right? I think the 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 term Christian nationalist is being used to threaten Christianity. It's like a weapon, yeah. and yes. it's a weaponization of a word mm-hmm. that, regardless if you're white, black, Hispanic, it doesn't matter if you are coined with the term Christian nationalist. You automatically are a racist. Mm. You're automatically against what the culture is telling you. A bigot. But yeah. I want to tell you something. That term is being was birthed pretty much from what people call the Christian left. Mm. And I want to tell you something. We are in a culture war, in a war on words, that is separating Christianity from the roots of what this Bible tells us we ought to be. But I want to tell you something. We are finding out that most people don't know the word. Mm. R.T. Kendall, one of the greatest theologians of our lifetime, yes. has said that Christianity is suffering from Bible illiteracy, yeah. that people don't know their word. We've seen yeah. studies That's why that it too. goes back to what we were talking, you and I were talking earlier. People in the church, we have taught people how to fall in love with the gifts of the Spirit, but not teach the fruit of the Spirit alongside of it. Yet the fruit of the Spirit is what Jesus focused most of his emphasis on teaching his disciples. How would you know that we are different? He said, well, you should know them by their fruits. Mm. Then you go back to Galatians and teaching the fruit of the Spirit. And Christianity doesn't even know its own identity anymore because we're trying to replace Oh, I might get in trouble on our own show. There's a replacement theology that is not coming from the world. It's coming within the church itself. And the church doesn't even recognize Jesus as the Savior anymore. Mm. Do you understand what's happening? We are in trouble. So if we tell you to go out and vote, how can you Christians nationalists say that? Shut up. That's right. Mm. Be quiet. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Since when we don't have a freedom to speak? Since when we don't That's have the right. right to stand up? Since who you told us that? Who are you? Yeah. And so we have a constitution. That oh, says you're otherwise. gonna get me in a fight with right. myself. <laughs> well, the first, I, I, I'm 80, almost 85 in a few weeks. Almost. Don't age yourself too fast. Well, I'm, I am. I, I'm almost there. <laughs> but I started with Christian television. I was a very young man. I've never, ever, 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 ever been told not to use anything about a president election. Mm-hmm. And I have this one. Wow. Yeah, they were telling the church yeah. to be quiet. Wow. Something's wrong in this country. Oh, yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah, that's, and that's because, wrong. but you know what? I believe too is because we don't know. I mean, I'm rights. going to heaven real soon, but. I'll about tell 20, you. About 20 years, yeah. That's I, right. That's but right. I, I tell you, That's right. the rest of you got to stay here a little while yet. <laughs> and I'm trying to 
get some people in office that love God. That's yeah. right. Well, yes. Can I just say something to that, what you just said? This is the difference on where you send your kids to go to school. That's right. My kids are 14 years old learning about the Constitution of the United States right now. Most kids right now in public school don't even know the Constitution. Well, they don't know the They're not even rights. taught yeah. the Constitition. They don't even know their amendment rights. They don't yet in Christianity, why is it against the law for us to learn the Constitution, the right to bear arms, They're, yet you're taking it out of context? When you put it back into context, you teach the history of America from the constitutional standpoint and teach your children so they know who they are as Americans. But mm -hmm. they're talking about throwing out the very principles that made this country. That's right. Yes. And we've got to stand up for what's right. Mm -hmm. By the way, to. I've mentioned your book before. Oh, thank you. I want them to order it. It's online, isn't yes. it? Yes. If you go to jimbakershow.com, go to I the Charisma you to affiliate it. page. I want you to see how we met <laughs> and all about Mondo and his crazy life. <laughs> no. And it was crazy. Yeah. <laughs> but it's he tells it all there in this book. And I, I hope you have. Get yeah. that. Listen, get one for your neighbor. Get one. America has a, a gang problem. I feel that God has given me an answer to the gang problem, and that's Jesus. Uh -huh. yeah. There's that's no it. other substitution. That's right. There's right. no other programs. Yeah. There's no magic tricks. It is Jesus, repentance, going to the cross. But if God did it for me, I know for a fact that God is going to do it for you, for your nephew, for your neighbor. Yeah. It is a story of now. It's a story of where in America we can dream again. But more than that, where we can preach the gospel of Jesus Christ freely Amen. as we're entering days that the Bible says that is in the last days. And we're watching Israel. We're, I mean, I can go down the list. One of these days we're going to spend time together, Dad, talking about what's happening in Israel right now because there's prophetic events developing yes. every hour. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's right. Yes. If mm -hmm. the world has its way, Israel will be gone. But Jesus is not going to. And can I say something prophetic? Sure. Mm. These terrible earthquakes, there's Storms. tornadoes yeah. we just Hurricane. storms, hurricanes. hurricanes. The hurricanes. That we just had. I am convinced, as one who studied the Bible, and you read, read the book Eye for an Eye by William Koenig, you will understand what. It's about, I believe these hurricanes were a direct result of our turning our backs mm. on Israel. Yeah, mm. that's right. God says it. If you touch Israel, that's right. he's going to touch you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, I got on my soapbox. They're not going to let me come back if, you, if I get too preachy. But Lisa, my friend. Friend, and we yes, love Lisa Hill. Yes, love you guys. I almost ask you your age, but I won't. <laughs> well, you've been around a long time. I, I just was wondering if you're old or not. <laughs> you don't I look am. old. You're you look terrible. Young. Yes, I am. Yeah. Yeah. I've been around for a while. Awesome. <laughs> My oldest son is 43. Whoa. So there you go. <laughs> How can you have an, a 43 year old when you Come you're you on. look 43? Right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. work. I'm not sure biologically. Cardio yeah. miracle. Yeah, yeah. cardio <laughs> miracle. <laughs> Exactly but we know right. the combination of the nutrition yes. and cardio miracle, they're considered to be a food rather than a supplement. Mm -hmm. What's the difference between food and supplement? Mm -hmm. Supplements, most supplements are artificial, mm -hmm. and most real food are like the Garden of Eden, right? Mm -hmm. The Lord gave us everything in our gardens, in yeah, our soils, did. as it's supposed to be. So what I was so excited about with Cardi Miracle is when I started looking at the ingredients, talking to John, and my big question was, how did you get so many whole foods mm -hmm. in a supplementation? We call it supplementation in this, as far as Dr. Judy doesn't want us to call it a supplement, it's real food. But how did you get it all together? And he has no explanation. Mm. He said, I studied 
I brought things together that made sense. But there's a big difference between food and supplementation. And that's why sometimes you'll have doctors that will say, don't take any supplements Mm -hmm. right now, because they know that most of them, over 90% of them, are synthetic. Mm. So your body doesn't recognize it. But going back to what you guys were just talking about a minute ago, with the election, with what's happening, the hurricanes, um, we are under so much stress. And I know as a neurosurgeon, you must encounter that all the time. So what are you seeing today compared to years ago in the brain activity? And how do you think Cardi Miracle could be of assistance to that? Yeah. Because it's a it's a real food, and That's we don't right. get real food, That's right. even if we eat right. Mm-hmm. That's right. Mm-hmm. Well, you know, and mm-hmm. I would say the arginine and the nitric oxide, and there are other nitric oxide products, but not even close to this one. Uh, because this prolongs nitric oxide by up to 33 hours activated in the body, and that helps with the stress as a substrate of your in your brain and your body. And I would say with, with all the stress that we're, we're experiencing, that having this, this food, it really supports our metabolism throughout our body. So it's allowing us to handle the stress and not to, to be replete of nutrients that we need that will support repair, and, uh, and healing and support good blood flow. We're seeing, uh, more, we're seeing more strokes, we're seeing more brain fog, we're seeing a whole host of other diseases that are now becoming almost looking chronic. Mm. And so this uh, cardio miracle is, is actually helping to support our reparative systems mm. and our reparative systems then go online and repair uh, the, the injuries that we're seeing because of the stress. Because remember, your brain is a processor. Yes. And so if your brain sees stress and trauma, the fight or flight, fight and flight response becomes activated and that can affect all the cells in your body. And so this actually helps support and, and, uh, and reverse that by supporting your own, your own systems. Mm-hmm. It's, it's an amazing, I mean, I, all my patients, I tell all my patients, whatever their problem is, I say, you've got to have this because we yes. need food. Food is medicine. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And it's mm-hmm. really true. That's mm-hmm. right. And Pastor Jim, we can't fight with the sick body. That's exactly right. right? So I That's yes. a good way to put that. We need it. it. We need to be strong, not only in the Lord, but in our health. Mm-hmm. That's why I'm, 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 I'm going to drink more. Yes. I, I've been doing it, what, once a day or so? Twice a day. But I, I'm going to do more. I you do two scoops it's, twice a day. Yeah. I need two a, servings twice I a day. I need a yeah. super dose of it. Is yeah, that all right, doctor? We all do. With more stress, we, we, yeah. all, we all do, actually. And, mm-hmm. and it, it, it uh, will encourage us to drink more water so we become more hydrated as well. Yeah. That's, right. That's yeah. a big deal. Yep. Yeah. And we've had some patients that say, you know, oh, I just don't absorb supplements well. So <laughs> That's right. That's or my doctor told me that I shouldn't take any supplements uh, because of my whatever condition. Well, this is, this is not the same. These are not just vitamin pills. And there are some people, uh, some people that have had like gastric bypass surgery for uh, significant oh, exactly. weight loss. Yeah. They, they truly don't absorb well because part of their intestines is, is removed. Their stomach, yeah. you know, part of their stomach is removed um, for that purpose. But, um, but this is a different this is not like taking vitamin pills okay it is a food just as lisa said and our body recognizes it and absorbs it and all these nutrients are what we need for different chemical processes in our body if we don't have the ingredients like what's in here we don't function well our muscles don't work well our nerve connections don't work well our blood Flow doesn't uh, doesn't work well, <laughs> yeah. so it truly is. And, and the its new name. three new ingredients: the lion's mane and the uh, the NAD and glutathione, for instance. What is lion's mane? That's so it's it's, a, it's, a, it's a like a fungus. mushroom. It's a fungus, <laughs> but it's great for brain health. I thought it was a mane of a lion. I know, right? Yeah. It's great for brain health, though. Yeah. So just again, the way it a, looks, the way it grows. Yeah, it, 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 it looks it, like it a looks lion's mane. Like a, yeah, yeah. But mm-hmm. it's really cool, right? It it, it, it works. It says that it very rich in vitamin D. Yeah. And I want to know, Dr. Jackson, what you think of that. Well, it's so important because vitamin D is a hormone, mm-hmm. really. And so vitamin D regulates and supports your immune system and your hormonal systems in your body. And so when you're low on vitamin D, 
when there's stress, either physical or emotional stress, that creates inflammation. Vitamin D helps to regulate that process so the inflammation doesn't go out of control. Also helps with your bones. So there's a correlation between vitamin D levels and bone strength. Why is that important? Well, because you have bone marrow in your bones and bone marrow is what produces your immune system response. Hmm. So they're all connected. But it says here, you gives you just with two, is it scoops or? Yeah, one serving. serving. So one, one serving. serving. One serving yeah. packet. It gives you 250% of vitamin D. That's good stuff. Yeah. Wow. There's a clinical study, actually, that's done on our website. And go to cardiomiracle.com forward slash studies. That actually shows by taking the product, you increase your vitamin D level. And there's a wonderful little lock-in system that, that, was, that occurred that they discovered was that nitric oxide and the different ingredients in the Cardi Miracle actually helps to unlock the stored vitamin D in our fat cells. So that was a really amazing mm-hmm. um, discovery. So you might be taking vitamin D for years, and maybe your vitamin D level doesn't go up. Mm-hmm. And then you start okay. taking the Cardi it, Miracle, but if, mm-hmm. and it pulls it. Mm-hmm. If somebody takes twice a day, they're getting almost 100% exactly. of most yes. of the vitamins that they need. Right. Yes. Yeah, they're yep. getting a lot. That's great. And I know you don't like reading them <laughs> <laughs> for me, but... It says here that it that it has fifty percent of vitamin A, vitamin C, fifty percent. Mm-hmm. Right. So if you take two servings a day, you got a hundred percent. You got it down. Yeah. Is there a best time to take this? Uh, no, there isn't. Um, I I think morning and and evening are best uh, in general because okay. I think it works for people. Um, we say wait about a half an hour before or after you eat protein and take it as well, just for so it absorbs better. Okay. Um, but you can take it as much as you want throughout the day. Could you, you take this when you're in a You have 100% fasting? of absolutely of vitamin E. It says here. It. I mean, it's amazing, and I know you're all bored with me doing that, but there's people out there that need <laughs> That's okay. vitamins, and it has. Vitamin K, vitamin thiamine, uh, rival flavor, 50%, niacin, 50%, yeah. vitamin B, 50%, B something. I can't B6, make that on the yeah, too small six, printer. Six. Well, if you vitamin at, B12 is yeah. 416%, yeah, which, is right. fantastic. which is great, especially for your nervous system and your spine. That's oh, right. yes. When you have good B12, that helps in people who... Uh, either had radiation to the spine, uh, people in the past who were depleted of vitamin B12, either because of diet or even those who were big drinkers. Mm-hmm. So, so I th- need it helps that. I might, yeah, for balance. I don't tell, I haven't told it very many, but my spine, I fell when I was a teenager. Oh. I was broad jumping mm-hmm. and I landed on the board right on my spine. Oh boy. And I haven't had any trouble really with it until now. Yeah. Mm. Wow. And so, like when I sit in these chairs, my spine hurts, and it, my mm. spine is there's a bone out, yeah. like not out but large there, and it's sore. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And w- w- so you say that this amount of vitamin will help my my yeah, spine. Yeah. Yeah. There's yeah vitamin T D supplementation along with especially the boron. here along boron, with the yeah. yeah. Mm. Is, is going to be is going to be really important. You know, one of the things, Doc, you had recently a Dr. Hellman on, the, one of our country's top anti-aging specialist doctors, and when he talked about taking the product, he said, "Take the Cardi Miracle, swish it around in your mouth, because the nitric oxide starts to become absorbed immediately in your sublingual, uh, your mucosal uh, wow, lining." Wow. So that was that we, that that's, was exciting. Yeah, it's pretty great. But for yeah. anti-aging, I believe this is one of the best. Right. Amen. This is an She's amazing actually 80, product. If you can believe it. <laughs> She's actually 80. I'm just an ageist Joe. It, that's right. <laughs> and you need to order it. If you you haven't taken it, you need some of you need to double it. Yeah. Truly. Because it really works. And yes. I don't know what I do without it. I I needed it. And here it was around all the time, and I wasn't taking it, but now I'm taking it. Amen. But I want to take it 
twice a day. And you're looking more. so good, yeah. Jim. You look good. Absolutely. Yeah. Listen, you can call Absolutely. the number and order a 30 single pack serving, a 60 single serving pack, or a 90 single serving pack. Better yet, we have the 180 single serving pack. You go to the website, jimbakershow.com, or give us a call, 1 888 988 1588, and make the decision today. Let us know what you think. Try it out for yourself and make sure you know that what we're trying to do and accomplish is to help you as you help the ministry, as you help this program to continue to do what is what God has called us to do. Amen. You can help yourself along the way. Better yet on that is the lock and subscribe is where they're going to save the most, Ricky. Right. Mm-hmm. So it's auto shipped as well. Auto ship. And I love this part. Free shipping. Mm-hmm. on all of them yeah, so whatever crazy. you decide to get whether it be the 30 single serving the 60 single serving pouch the 90 single serving pouch try saying that a lot of time <laughs> 180 single serving pouch not bad for a guy that has an accent right yeah. uh give us a call today 1-888-988-1588 we want you to watch this cardio miracle as testimonials from people that have used it watch this There's a couple things that I never miss any day ever, and and one of them is Cardio Miracle. If I could have, I would have started taking this when I was 20. I began taking Cardio Miracle, and as I did that, almost within a few weeks, I could feel a difference in my energy level. Cardio Miracle has been a game changer in my life. Since I've been taking Cardio Miracle on a very consistent basis, my recovery time is amazing. I really want to be a walking testimonial of what Cardio Miracle does for the body. I just feel, I feel good all over when I take it. For me, Cardio Miracle is my future insurance policy for a great life and pushing life like I've always done and feeling great while I'm doing it. You know, Cardio Miracle has created a pathway for me to be normal, to be healthy. I really feel like like Cardio Miracle has extended my husband's life. It's been amazing. For me as a doctor, Cardio Miracle is a staple. I have seen Cardio Miracle improve the lives of many of my patients with many different types of chronic conditions. This is something that's actually made a huge difference and it's staying that way. It's not just a, a fluke, it's real. Cardio Miracle is one of the best things that ever happened to me because when I was searching, I was able to find it. Cardio Miracle for me has really been a blessing in my life. It's just been a a special experience for me to be able to have Cardio Miracle. So basically for a 97 year old, I think that I uh, feel a little more like maybe 87. (laughs) Cardio Miracles made it so that I can I, I can live day to day without drama and trauma. If you want to know how important Cardio Miracle is to me, I've got my family on. You know, I don't know anything more powerful than to say I have my own family doing this. You know, we want to live our best lives, so I'm doing what I can, and Cardio Miracle is one of the best tools I have on a daily basis. Adding Cardio Miracle, it's like a secret weapon to your health. Everyone should use Cardio Miracle. Cardio Miracle will always be a part of my life. Cardio Miracle for me and my husband has has saved our life, literally. I am so in love with this. I want everybody to know because if we don't feel healthy, we can't help other people. Cardio Miracle gives me the boost that I need to tackle all the tasks that I have every single day. It was indeed a difference maker when I got on the Cardio Miracle. I'm achieving things I couldn't do even when I was younger. Cardio Miracle for us, for me, for my family was a lifesaver. Cardio Miracle for me and my family has been, it's just, it's been a miracle. I wouldn't even be functioning without Cardio Miracle. I know for a fact. And so I say, thank you, Cardio Miracle. That's, that's one of those miracles in my life that I'm grateful for. We will never be without Cardio Miracle. Cardio Miracle to me is hope in a glass. When you create nitric oxide, you are igniting the spark of life in the cell. It is the miracle molecule 
That's why we call this cardio miracle, because of nitric oxide and what it can do for the whole body. Amen. Amen. Order right now. The show is almost over with. Dr. Jackson, let's talk about the brain again. You're the brain doctor. Is that all right to call you a brain yes, doctor? Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> I, I like that. I don't, you're, you're a neurosurgeon, right? Yes, sir. What does Cardio Milgar do when, when people are so stressed out and they're, they're having getting up in years like me? What, what does it do? So, you know, we have, with stress, we develop slowness of thought, which is called bradyphrenia. And so the way you process information slows down because it gets kind of gunked up, right, in your system because of the inflammation from stress. So Cardio Miracle actually increases um, L-arginine and nitric oxide, which really helps to decrease and combat that negative, the negative effects of stress. And I'll also say, for our clinicians out there, the primary care doctors and the pediatricians are now under major attack and stress, dealing with all the issues to try to help people. And, and so Cardio Miracle is good for them. But John Hewlett said, because I know they're struggling, they're, the bills are piling up and so forth. We even have uh, a doctor's program and an ambassador program because he wants to even uh, help them in some small way to decrease the financial burden. So if you, if you go to uh, Dr. Avery Jackson, uh, cardiomiraclehealth.com, you can sign up for the ambassador's program or the doctor's program, and, and that's going to help docs in many different ways because, man, they are really stressed. The mm -hmm. bills are high, the reimbursement's low, and so they're trying to figure out how do I, how do I you know, keep, keep all the balls uh, you know, in the air financially. Mm -hmm. So John saw that and said, here's a, a program that can help them. Mm -hmm. That's right. Mm -hmm. so. I want you to come back and let, I want to do a whole show on the brain. It'd be great. I'd love to. We had one show that where there was a big brain model and we talked about it. It was fun. So, yeah, I would love to. Thank you. I'm just, when you get old, you think about your brain. I don't <laughs> think about your brain. You don't really have one until you get old. <laughs> <laughs> and then you start. That's a good quote. <laughs> okay. That's really right. good. Well, when your kids don't think about you, you got a brain. <laughs> <laughs> so oh, I want you back. Boy. Yes, sir. You're one of my favorites. Well, thank you. You don't know And that. you're one of mine. And I appreciate uh -huh. being here. And Seriously, I it's just an honor. I really like having you and up your wife. Is, thank you. Thank you. She's so sweet. And it's so nice to have you. And we always love Lisa Hill. Uh -huh. Yeah. Who doesn't? Yeah. She's Who the doesn't? mayor of She's the, the world. Mayor of the I world. Love you guys. The of the that world. is our our name for her. Yeah. yeah. When she retires, I want her to come and live here. So. I know. You yeah. got okay. it. Should be a Morningside's mayor. By the way, if you want a place to live, <laughs> that's go. really good. And by the way, I'm selling my dome home. Yes. It'll be a, a value. I, I think, I don't know, I may auction it off or something, but if you're interested in the dome, it will withstand tornadoes and all kinds of storms. It's amazing. It is beautiful. It is fully furnished. Refrigerator, stove, everything's in it. With all the furniture. And I'm going to sell it. And I haven't really tried to sell it hard. We haven't. But I'm good. I want to sell it. And if anybody would like to have a house that's weatherproof, <laughs> stormproof. Yeah, beautiful. Uh, well, remember, God loves you. <laughs> he really does. Bye-bye. <laughs>